estate team, and these are my top three pointers for people getting off the cruise ship here in St. Martin. So first things first, when you get off at the Port of St. Martin, my suggestion would be head over to Maho Bay. That's where the airplanes land right over the beach. It's a sight to see, uh, and it's something that we've become really famous for. So I think you definitely want to try to get your selfie with an airplane landing or a group picture of you and your family. Uh, so that's the first thing. Maybe you want to time that, look at the schedule online so you can be efficient with your time. If you're in St. Martin, you also got to touch the French side for sure. That's one of the unique characteristics of this island is half Dutch, half French. So my suggestion would be go over to the French capital. Um, if you're fit and you like doing some exercise, go into Marigold, hike up to the fort that's at the top there. Really nice sight to see. It's about 100, 200 steps to get there. I can't remember exactly, but it's worth checking out. And if you're not up for that physical activity, you can also just hang out in Marigold, check out like an authentic French bakery, get some really nice croissants. And then after that, you gotta head back to the Dutch capital of Philipsburg. That's where you're gonna get the ship to head back to your next destination. But before you do that, you gotta do some duty-free shopping in Philipsburg or take a swim. At any of those three points, somewhere along the way, you have gotta get into the ocean. You gotta let your feet touch the sand. But truth being told, you need a lot longer than one day to truly enjoy St. Martin. And if you're ready to check that out, visit our website at irivacations.com and let us plan your next vacation when you come back to St. Martin. We'll find the right accommodations for you. But hope you enjoy your time visiting St. Martin.